What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Just Say It right here on Ndani TV. My name is Leila Johnson Salami and I am so excited to get into my rant for today because I'm going to be speaking to you about the recently concluded 2019 Nigerian elections and how I feel towards everything about the elections, the youth's involvement, the outcome of the elections and what I think we need to look towards ahead of 2023 because honestly, quite frankly, those elections were really embarrassing and if you don't agree then you're embarrassing too. Talking about the Nigerian elections is something that really gets me heated, but I think it's something that we have to do. If 51.11% of voters in the 2019 elections were young people, my first question is, how are our main two candidates over the age of 70? That does not say what Nigeria is. Clearly, Nigeria is a young country. I'm sorry, it's embarrassing for me because I don't feel like I should have to choose between two people that have had such a hold on Nigeria's politics for so long when I believe that we need something fresh and new. And this is where I start to get sad at what has happened to the youth of Nigeria today. We don't see how deliberate disempowered we are and we don't see how we're feeding into the system. I'll start off with the way we vote and the way we think. Our entire orientation towards the elections is skewed. Now before I go any further I will say that I do not blame any of us. I mean if you're not receiving a voter's education, you don't learn about politics in school, the only politics you know is the rigging you see come election time, the only politics you know is all the political thuggery going on in your environment, you don't even understand politics and then you're told hold on you're old enough to vote. Here get a PVC and go and vote. That's if you're even lucky enough to. So by the time you have that PVC, you're thinking, oh, I only know about two people within Nigeria's policy, so let me go ahead and think of the lesser of two evils. And that is exactly where the problem lies. If the youth vote is literally going towards people who should not really and truly be holding political power in the country right now, Nigeria is not going to move forward. Now, I know a lot of people felt like, oh, but it's going to be a waste of a vote if I don't give it towards one of the main two political parties. But it's about changing the status quo and I don't see how we don't get this. One second, I need some coffee because I'm getting so stressed. Better. Now I don't see how we don't get this because honestly speaking, if you look at it this way, right, how do you change the status quo if you're still voting for the same people? If you're voting for whoever's going to come in in 2019 and not thinking, oh, let me go on a long-term process and start putting my vote towards maybe a third force or something, so maybe in a couple elections we can see a viable and powerful third force, then those elections with a third force are never going to come. Every election period and cycle that comes by, we're only going to have two parties to vote from, and we're still going to be looking at each other and arguing over people that quite frankly should not have political power. Now that is not saying don't vote for who you want to vote for, don't place your vote where you believe your vote should go. At the end of the day, a government is a representative body of the people. And whether the elections are rigged or not, this is the same body that we keep on electing into government. And so honestly, when is it going to change? Stop thinking the change is going to come overnight. It is not going to come overnight. Look at countries around the world that have managed to develop over the years. Do you think it took their people sitting back and saying, you know what, we just have a bad government and we're going to let anything happen? No, it did not. It took revolution. It took standing up. It took saying absolutely not. And you know what it also took? It really and truly took the people saying, we are going to contribute too. Come to Nigeria, and I'm sorry to say, the richest people in our country do not give back to our society. Yeah, we like to come and say that, oh, they, can, they don't have to give back, it's their money, they can do what they want. But do you know why a lot of developed countries around the world have the infrastructure that they do? It's because the richest citizens within that country decided that, you know what, we're going to do something to contribute to this. We cannot look at the government as the only resource for Nigeria's growth. We need to look at ourselves as well. So ahead of 2023, my question is, what are you going to do now to try and contribute to that change. Have you noticed that the majority of people who are killed on election day are young people? Have you noticed that the majority of people who are disempowered from voting on election day are young people? Have you not noticed that the entire system is basically saying, young people, we don't want you and we're going to push you to the side? That is why we can have a not too young to run bill. But in reality, the not too young to run bill is actually not too old to rule. Look at the bigger picture, look at the deeper picture and know why people like me rant and why people like me get angry. You are so free to vote for whoever you want to vote for you are so free to support whoever you want to support but understand the system that you are feeding into as you do it